Well, it's December, and you know what that means, right? Christmas! Take it away, Christmas Snoopy! Hey everyone, welcome to another Top 10 list, and I thought, because it's December and Christmas is coming, I thought I'd do my Top 10 Best and Worst Christmas Movies. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? I thought I'd go with the best first, so yeah, here we go. This is, in my opinion, the Top 10 Best Christmas Movies. Some of you might not agree with me, but these are just my personal favorite. I love Christmas movies, so yeah, I am excited to do my Top 10 Personal Favorite Christmas Movies. And of course, before Top 10, you gotta have your... Honorable mentions. And my honorable mentions for Christmas movies are How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Jim Carrey version and animated version, Christmas Vacation, The Santa Claus, White Christmas, The Polar Express, A Charlie Brown Christmas, The Night Before, The Holiday, and Holiday Inn. Yes, a lot of honorable mentions. I love Christmas movies. I love all those movies. This just couldn't be the top 10 list, but what did me my top 10 was my number 10. And my number 10 is Love Actually. Yes, I've talked a lot about Love Actually. It's a great chick flick, great romantic comedy, but it's also a great British comedy as well. But it's also a great Christmas movie. It takes place during the Christmas season. It's a bunch of stories of all these people. Some are couples, some are siblings, and it's just about their lives and everything. And it's, yes, it's a romantic comedy. It's got romance, it's got comedy, but it's also got Christmas. And this movie does put me a lot in the Christmas spirit. I love British movies, I love British comedies, and I love that a British comedy can make a great Christmas movie. And yes, this movie does have some stories that drag a bit. There's a little inconsistencies with the plot at times, and not all the stories are interesting, but there's some great stories in this movie. Movie. Liam Neeson's story is a very good, very heartwarming story, a little sad. Emma Thompson and Alan Rickman's story is really good. Um, Hugh Grant's is okay, it's a little cheesy, but it's okay. The best story in this entire movie, though, is Bill Nighy's story. He's like a rock star, putting out a Christmas album and everything, he wants to make a comeback. He's phenomenal in this movie, I love Bill Nighy, he's amazing in this movie, so funny, and the comedy in this movie is very good. It's Richard Curtis's movie, and Richard Curtis does amazing movies. He did like Bridget Jones' Diary and stuff, the first one. I love Love Actually, it's a great movie I watched during the Christmas season, and I actually watch it during the other holiday seasons too, because I just like the movie, it's a good movie. Some people might not like it because it's a chick flick, but it's a chick flick that I do like, and it's a chick flick I watch every Christmas, so yeah, Love Actually, it's a great one. Coming number nine is Elf. Yes, John Favreau directed this movie, and it stars Will Ferrell. And Will Ferrell plays an elf called Buddy, and he was the perfect casting for this choice because any other actor would have made this character oh, obnoxiously annoying because this character is very annoying. But Will Ferrell does it in such a charming and likable way. You kind of love Buddy, even though he's annoying and a complete pain in the ass. I can tell if, like, Adam Sandler or Jim Carrey did this role, it would probably came off a really annoying. But Will Ferrell did it so well. I just I don't, I don't know how Will Ferrell did it, but he did it very, very well. And he was very funny and very likable in this movie. And he makes this movie so good. And just the feel of it. The feel of the movie Elf is just straight up Christmas. I get the Christmas feel every time I see this movie. Between its atmosphere, its, its production design, and all its Christmas songs. And yeah, all the performances by the supporting cast may not be top-notch, but they're good. And it's just a great Christmas movie. As a Christmas movie... Elf is just great, and it's a very funny movie, mostly thanks to Will Ferrell, but I love this movie. I have to watch this movie every Christmas. I probably have to watch this movie more than once, too, and it's so good. I love it. Elf, great movie. Coming number eight is Gremlins. Yes, uh, some people don't consider this a Christmas movie, but it takes place during the Christmas season, so I'm going to count it. It's just on my top ten favorite Joe Dante movies. I love Gremlins. I've mentioned Gremlins before. It's a great movie, but Little Monsters coming out during the Christmas season. Oh, my God. If all, you all know who Gizmo is, that is the most adorable thing ever. I actually asked for a Gizmo when I was like nine years old for Christmas. I'm like, can I get a Gizmo? And my dad's just like, it doesn't exist for God's sakes. And I cried. <laughs> yeah, it was a little mean. But yeah, I wanted a Gizmo. I wanted Gremlins. Gremlins are cool. Yes, even the evil Gremlins, I would love to have them just have an army of Gremlins. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, Gremlins, great movie. It's my favorite Joe Dante movie. It's a great Christmas movie. It's a great horror comedy monster movie. And I love watching Watching this every Christmas, and it's an awesome movie. It's Gremlins. Love it. Coming number seven is a tie between two Christmas carols. And that's a Christmas Carol, George C. Scott version, and the Muppets Christmas Carol. I love the story of Christmas Carol. Like I said, I've, I've talked about a Christmas Carol a bunch of times. The Scrooge movie's great. The Jim Carrey Christmas Carol, they're great. They're great movies. I love the story of a Christmas Carol. 
But the George C. Scott version did it perfect. It was just so well done, very well directed, and they just did everything right. George C. Scott was an amazing choice to play Ebenezer Scrooge, and he just does an amazing job. He's great at being the better asshole, but he's also great at the ending, being the likable guy. I love the designs of all three of the ghosts, and I just love everything about the movie. And the supporting cast is really great. I love they got Jonathan Price in this movie. He was awesome. It's just a great movie. I love Christmas Carol. That is the most perfect adaptation of A Christmas Carol, the George C. Scott version. But I love The Muppets Christmas Carol. Entertainment value, A Muppets Christmas Carol is the best Christmas Carol movie, entertainment-wise. So that's why I put it as a tie. I love The Muppets. The Muppets are awesome. Michael Caine's a great Scrooge as well. It's got kick-ass musical numbers, and it's just got a great story. It's a very timeless story. And these two versions, I just put them both as a tie because I have to watch them like eight times during the Christmas season, and they're the best Christmas Carol movies. So, yeah, see them both, but see them all anyways because The Christmas Carol is just a timeless story. Great story, but these two are the best ones. Coming number six is A Christmas Story. Yes, this is a classic. I love this movie. And I apologize when I just said a few minutes ago, I think I called A Christmas Carol A Christmas Story. I always say that when I say, like, sometimes I call A Christmas Story A Christmas Carol. Sometimes I call A Christmas Carol A Christmas Story. I don't know. I get them mixed up. Not the stories, just the titles. I get tongue-tied sometimes. Tongue-tied. Anyways, I love this story, A Christmas Story. Another very timeless story. Very funny movie. This movie was hilarious. Come on, classic. You'll shoot your eye out. You'll shoot your eye out. I actually thought that when I was a child. I thought if I bought a BB gun, I'd shoot my eye out. And <laughs> this movie's just great. It's got great comedy. It's got great Christmas spirit. It's got a very realistic family. The family in this movie is a very realistic family. And it's just a classic. It's a classic movie. Timeless movie. The sequel sucked ass, but I'm not talking about the sequel. The first Christmas story is amazing. One of my favorites. Coming number five is Die Hard. Yes, yippee-ki-yay, hey, motherfucker. And yes, this is a Christmas movie. I know some people just don't admit Die Hard's a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. It takes place during the Christmas season. And then even at the end credits of Die Hard, they play the song, Oh, the weather outside is like, oh, is it? Oh, my God, I am terrible at singing. I told you, I suck at lyrics, but they play Let It Snow at the end of the movie, end of two, the first two Die Hards. It's a Christmas movie, and it's the most badass Christmas movie. It's awesome. It's Die Hard. Yes, it's a great action movie. It's got great characters. Bruce Willis, awesome. Hans Gruber, awesome. It's got some great Christmas songs. There's even a rap Christmas song in the opening with Argyle, another awesome character. It's a great, uh, it's a great robbery story. It's a great cop story. It's just a great action movie. It's got some great comedy, great dialogue, great writing. John McTiernan is an amazing director. I've gone on and on about Die Hard and, you know, my ranking of the Die Hards, my top 10 action movies. I've mentioned the Die Hard a bajillion times. It's a Christmas movie, too. It's an action movie, but it's also a Christmas movie, and it's the most badass Christmas movie. Coming number four is Miracle on 34th Street. I love this movie. Yes, the 90s version, you know, the John Hughes one, I think. John Hughes was John Hughes? Chris Columbus? I'm pretty sure, but yeah. That version with Richard Attenborough and Mara Wilson, that's a good movie. I enjoy it. But the 1940s version is a much better version with Natalie Wood. This is just a great story. I love the story about a guy who thinks he's Santa Claus and people don't know whether to believe him or not. And he's just such a likable guy and he just looks so much like Santa Claus. You just don't know. And the way they tackle the belief structure of Santa Claus in this movie is just so brilliant. And the way they solve the court case at the end was really well done. It's just a very sweet and very touching story. I love this movie. I have to watch this movie a bunch of times during the Christmas season. I love Miracle on 34th Street. It's another timeless and classic story, and I can't get enough of it. It's so good. Coming number three is Joyce Noel. Joyce Noel is a French-German sort of English movie. Yeah, they, they speak a few languages. This is during World War I, and it's about a French army and a German army. And they're fighting against each other in these trenches. But on Christmas Eve night, they put aside their differences, and they walk out of their trenches and spend Christmas Eve together. And that's awesome. And I heard it's like based on a true story. I'm not 100% on that. I'm not 100%. And then in the morning of Christmas, they don't know, they, they can't kill each other because they become friends with each other on, the, on Christmas Eve night. They, they can't hurt each other the next day because friendships are really strong and just the true heart of Christmas, they just don't want to do it. And that is such a powerful story. This movie blew me away. I saw this movie for the first time last year and it just, 
it just hit me so hard emotionally. This movie is such an amazing movie. I was mesmerized by this movie. And there's some great actors like Diane Kruger is in this movie, Daniel Bruhl's in this movie. They're all great. The performances by everyone in this movie is fantastic. And it's just such a great and true story. True story. And I don't know so fully if it's a true story, but when I mean true, I mean like true to the heart. It's got a lot of heart in this movie, and it's just got a lot of great meaning in it. And it's just a very hopeful movie, and it's a beautiful movie. It's also a beautifully shot movie, well edited movie well-directed movie and a beautifully acted movie and this movie has so much heart in it a heart of Christmas and just an amazing tragic story and I loved it I was crying I was smiling I was just in, just in love with this movie I went gaga over this movie for the first time I watched it I've seen this four times now I've watched it twice already this month and I love it Joyce Noel is one of the best Christmas movies I've ever watched and it's my third favorite I love it Coming number two is a tie between the two best animated Christmas movies, and that is and that is The Nightmare Before Christmas and Arthur Christmas. I had to put these both as a tie because I can't decide which one's the best. I love them both equally. The Nightmare Before Christmas, I went on and on about this. Henry Selleck directed a fantastic movie. Tim Burton did an amazing job. Stop motion animation. It looks top notch. It's got some of the best songs ever in any animated film. It's amazing. It's iconic. It's a Christmas movie everyone loves to watch during the Halloween season and the Christmas season. However, Arthur Christmas is just as good. It's so amazing. I love how Arthur Christmas is designed. I love how it's portrayed, and it's just done amazing. Again, it's a British kind of movie, too. All British actors like James McAvoy, Hugh Laurie, Jim Broadbent, they're all in this movie. They'll do an amazing job. The story of this movie is about, like, Santa Claus is, like, all techie now, because Santa Claus are passed down through each generation, and this Santa Claus, played by Hugh Laurie, well, he's not Santa Claus yet, but he's going to be Santa Claus, and he's all tech, he's a spaceship, elves do all the work, pretty much, and basically, even though they have all this technology, they screw up one time, they forgot a present for a girl, and basically, Arthur, Arthur's the younger brother, he has to deliver the gift young girl before Christmas morning happens, and a lot of shenanigans happen, and all that shit, and it's just an amazing movie, Arthur Christmas, it's beautifully animated, it's got a lot of heart, I love the characters, I love the comedy, it's just, an, it's just a brilliant Christmas movie. The two of them, I couldn't decide which one was the best because I love them both equally. Nightmare Before Christmas has got a great nostalgia for me, and it's just a great Christmas movie. But Arthur Christmas is, is a newer Christmas movie, and it's got a lot of heart. And just, I don't know what one's better. I don't know. I, I had to put them both as a tie. They're both the second best Christmas movies I've ever watched. So good. And the number one best Christmas movie is It's a Wonderful Life. It's, it's, it's a Wonderful Life. It's amazing. Frank Capra's It's a Wonderful Life. Amazing. Donna Reed, amazing. Fucking Jimmy Stewart, incredible. So good. This movie is just a great story about how one man's life could affect an entire town and anyone else's life. And it's just brilliant. I love this movie. Yes, the Christmas stuff doesn't happen until like the third act of the movie, but the story of this movie is just such a touching, moving, heartwarming story. And I love this movie. I love it. This is not only a movie you can watch during the Christmas season, but you can watch it any time. Anytime you can watch It's a Wonderful Life because it's just a fantastic movie. It's not just a great Christmas movie, but it's just a great movie in general. And it's the greatest Christmas movie I've ever seen. I'm blown away by it anytime I watch it. It's one of the greatest movies ever, one of my favorite movies ever, and it's, of course, my number one favorite Christmas movie. So, yeah, that was my top 10 best Christmas movies. So, yeah, in the comment section below, please tell me, give me, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Give me your top 10 personal favorite Christmas movies. Comment below and let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.